Hello guys, how are you doing today? It's great to see all your smiling faces again. My name is Ty, I know, and I'm a travel and lifestyle content creator. Over the years, I've been to some countries like Kenya, Cape Verde, Rwanda, and luckily enough, December last year, I was opportune to visit the beautiful country of Ghana. So let me show you guys what goes on in Ghana. Come along with me. Ghana is a country located along the Gulf of Guinea and the Atlantic Ocean in the sub-region of West Africa. Ghana means warrior king. Ghana's population of approximately 30 million spans a variety of ethnic, linguistic and religious groups. Ghana is relatively peaceful and is often considered to be one of the least violent countries in the region. Ghana is also the second largest producer of gold on the African continent behind South Africa. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys why I think Ghana is one of the dopest places in Africa. When we're traveling to Ghana because it was the December period and most of the flights were booked. We had to take a flight from Lagos to Lome first, then from Lome down to Ghana. So we had to take two flights. Normally from Lagos to Ghana is around 40-45 minutes depending on the flight you're going with but we had to spend two three hours because we had to stop over then wait at the airport then go to Ghana from there. Don't spend all your money at the airport guys. Most of the things there are really really expensive. But they also collect Naira at the airport apparently. So if you're carrying Naira to the airport, Naira, Dollar, any foreign currency, they collect that. The cost of the flight we took from Lagos cost around $400 because it was the holiday season. We also had to stop over at Lume because it was a connecting flight and most flights were booked. After getting to Ghana, we encountered a new problem. Our hotel that we booked online was cancelled, so we had no place to stay. Now, I need you guys to fix this. I need you to find us another hotel because right now it's kind of hard to get a hotel. Hotel. So we had to find a way to figure it out and sort that out first before we could move ahead to the next stage. After a while, when we tried sorting that out and it didn't work, we just said, okay, we have limited time to spend in Ghana. That would eventually be sorted out. Uh, let's go to Afrochella. We went downtown to check out Afrochella, which is a celebration of African culture. The event was fully packed with people from all over the world who mostly came to experience Ghana for the first time in a long time. Different African artists were also in attendance and performed on stage. It was super crazy. Ghana has a really vibrant entertainment culture and it was great spending time here. Gate fee for this event was $45 for general admission and $95 for VIPs. Afuchella was lit guys. Let me show you how it goes down here. Before the party was over, we were lucky enough to get a call from the hotel to tell us we had gotten a new reservation. God is awesome. We called it the night at the hotel. Waking up the next day, we quickly grabbed the meal at the restaurant. This spot was called the Coconut Groove Hotel, which had an amazing restaurant with nice food. The night here cost around $150 for the base room. Our next activity was to visit the Black Star of Ghana. I've been seeing this place in a lot of videos and a lot of people making pictures and shooting stuff about it. So it was really amazing to experience it and see it for the first time. We took a bus down to the city center. I think this, this part is probably the city center. Yeah, hello guys, it's another morning in Ghana and I'm currently on this of this beautiful structure. It's very close to the ocean, but it's in the heart of Accra. And we went there, we also saw the Black Independence Square, which is where they do a lot of their parades. The Day of Independence is where most of the parades happen, where the president comes and checks it out. And this place is also close to the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park, which was also a nice place to also see. And when we were standing at the bottom of the Black Star, we also walked around it. We saw a lot of people hanging around, taking pictures. A lot of people that were currently in Ghana at this period were people who came for the year of return, and they came back to experience Ghana for the first time in a long time. We also were opportunity enough to climb to the top of the Black Star. As you're climbing up to the top of this place now, I want to see what the structure is like. 
which was an awesome experience. From here, you can see the view of almost everywhere, 360. You can see the stadium, you can see the Black Star Park, you can see the Kwame Nkuma Park. You can also see a lot of roads, you can see the ocean. It's really breezy up here and windy, and it's also really nice to come here to experience. So I love what Ghana is currently doing with tourism. They've really improved on tourism, and a lot of people have started coming to Ghana to experience it, which is really awesome. Not to compare, but I just wish Nigeria would also take a page from Ghana's book when it comes to tourism. After leaving the Black Star, our next part of it was Jamestown. Jamestown is lit. It has its old ancient vibe. It's a part of the town that is really remote. Not a lot of developed buildings are here. There's a lot of art on many of the walls. We walk through the streets and we're seeing a lot of artwork. They also have this really nice post office that I really, really like. But everything about Ghana, what I've noticed is it's really organized. And also we walked around with cameras and it was pretty safe. Nobody came to meet us to come and challenge us. We were just walking around snapping all our pictures. We were even filming people on the streets. Nobody complained. Nobody said, oh, take that camera out of my face. Throughout the time I was spent in Ghana, nobody complained about that. Currently walking on Accra streets now. Our car broke down multiple times and we didn't get any car. And this Wizzy here is in the middle of the road trying to get some shots. towards the Jameson town to experience more of the local community. We saw some groups of people playing football. Ghana is known for having a super vibrant sports community. The Ghana's national football team is nicknamed the Black Stars after the Black Star of Africa in the flag of Ghana. <laughs> As with all our adventures, we just kept on stumbling on new, new things. We saw this group of bike gangs. They were bikers and they were just performing a lot of stunts and a lot of death defined stunts in the middle of the road jumping on the bike, some were doing wheelies, some were doing stoppies and apparently they come here every Sunday to just show their skills. It's a free event, you can come and sit down and just watch. And throughout the time there were over 100 bikes in this procession. They kept going round and round and round the place. Yeah guys, I'm currently on the road, we are just driving and then we saw a lot of activity happening. There were a lot of bike people riding on the left and on the right. And so we decided to stop to check out what was happening for I stop and just look around to see if you're with me now. Tell me, are you with me now? Ready to put it down. I start at the bottom, I already forgot him, but they won't forgive me now. You really ain't ready now. You haters just in the crowd. But still, I just look around. Are you with me now? Why you with me? Step in the fire, get ready to take it higher. Real nigga coming out your amplifier. Y'all want every black man to be with your pride. Why these weapons fuck up and turn into shy, huh? Cell phone became your brother. Internet replace your mother. You leaving homies on red. It's no wonder all your friends dead. If you come to Ghana and you want to experience that, come on Sunday to check out this place. It majorly happens around the afternoon period. It's a really dope experience. We called it a night as it was getting dark and we returned to our hotel. It was a super fun day and I was already feeling overwhelmed with the fun activities. The next morning we headed out to experience Accra, Ghana in its entirety. But this time we drove out of Accra. There's a specific place in Ghana that has these winding hills and halfway up the hill our car got stuck and then we couldn't move and we're like okay since our car has broken down let's find out something else to do as you know the travelers we don't waste time we try to turn every roadblock into a new opportunity the car broke down and now we're trying to see how we can solve it this hill we've been climbing this hill for the past like five, five, ten minutes and you can see the whole of ghana here right? so that'd be a better situation if we intentionally packed but we did not pack that broke down, that's why we have to. So we stopped and we tried out some Ghanaian palm wine and man, the palm wine was lit. We put some ice in it and we're just drinking palm wine by the road. And we even forgot that our car had broken down. We're just enjoying it and experiencing Ghana. Ghana's palm wine is dope, guys. So we're about to test the Ghanaian palm. This is Ghanaian palm wine. <laughs> Okay, okay. Suppose I see Ghana. Pass, like pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it. Oh man. You see, oh man, I have blood. I've been a high uh, taste like guy, guy, guy. Oh man. Guy, guy, guy. You too, it's it's guy. insane, man. I need, I need, I need. First time trying out Pan One. Yes. <laughs> I need that Pan One. 
Tell her boss that you That's the way I eat tapa. This is what I have to do with Does it taste like? Does it taste like anything you've taken well, before? Sorry, no. I like how it's kind of effervescent. <laughs> it's like sparkly. There's <laughs> bubbles. Oh, okay. What do you think about the palm wine? It's amazing. <laughs> It's so fresh, so delicious, sweet, tangy, everything, all in one. Eventually we found a new boss that was able to take us home. Despite the breakdown, it was a fun experience to be touring Ghana, interacting with people, tasting the food and drinks, and also seeing everything for the first time from a fresh new perspective. So when it comes to safety, Ghana is pretty safe, and throughout the time I spent here, nobody disturbed us, and we are all kind big guests all around. I never felt unsafe at any point in time. Also when it comes to visa, Ghana is visa free if you have an echo passport. Passport. and I think it's also visa free or visa on arrival for a lot of other countries so if you're coming to Ghana just check with your embassy or check online on the website to figure out what countries are visa free for Ghana so this video was majorly my introduction to Ghana on the first day I spent over a week in Ghana this is not the whole of Ghana obviously this is just majorly my first day in Accra so those that want to come and be typing this is not Ghana just hold on hold on to your keyboard just wait relax so in the next video I'll be visiting Jamison town I'll also be checking out Elmi and I'll also be trying out some Ghanaian night food. So stay tuned. For what I experienced in Ghana on my first day, the people are really welcoming. And for anybody who plans on coming to Ghana, I encourage you to come down here and check it out. The country is really, really, really beautiful. And there's a lot of development going on. So come check it out. This is all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to turn on the post notifications so that you'll be notified and YouTube will notify you anytime I drop a new video. Till next time, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.